dear. Are those Naomi's open exam results? D. She got a D. What is Naomi? Naomi! What is this? My results. Don't be cheeky with me, young lady. What is this I am seeing? A D. You brought home a D. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Is that all you can say? Honestly, Naomi, haven't we done everything to support you? Your father pays your school fees on time. I've got you all the books that you need. We've been paid for your school trip to Mombasa the other day. Surely, any child getting the sort of support should be bringing home an A to the list a B, but a D. Hey! Naomi. Yes, Dad. Naomi, what I don't understand is uh, how you managed to do so well in computer science. Um, yes, I got a B. Hmm. But then you failed miserably in mathematics. Oh. She got a E. An E. Imagine that. You see, Naomi, all sciences, including computer science, uh, physics, chemistry, and even biology, go together with the mathematics. Like this. I mean, how would you become a computer programmer if you're weak in mathematics? How will we even be able to write code? I think we'll have to find a good mathematics tutor for her. Yes. That and no more going to the mall, no more TV, and you'll hand in your phone. Aye, ma'am. Until those results are on check. Do you understand me? Am I clear? Am I? Yes. Yes, can you go bring me that phone? Kataoka hapa. Dorothy, don't you think you're being too, too harsh? I mean, akwana kabi pahari. Come on, you baby this girl too much. <coughs> Why is she supposed to present a D? Eh? <laughs> Ruth! I'm glad you're home early. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Mambo. Mr. Mambo is a former teacher, but currently he's a full-time mathematics tutor. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Baba Naomi. Tutor. But, Dorothy, I thought we agreed we sent Naomi to a tuition center. Oh, forget about those people, dear. They're expensive for nothing. And Mr. Mumble here promises us to give us a much friendlier fee, isn't that right? That's right. Actually, Baba Naomi, I like to refer to my fee structure as uh, parental friendly. <laughs> <laughs> also, Mr. Mambo tells me that he can offer more than just tuition to our daughter. I will explain to my husband what you're telling me. Baba Naomi, you see, I like to tackle this tuition approach uh, using a principle that I've developed. I call it the 3G principle. 3G? Yeah. What's that? Well, I know it sounds like some mobile phone jargon, yeah? Yeah. One thing I know is that 3G actually means uh, in telecommunication, it means very low speed. Well, that's in telecoms and maybe Simuzam Kononi. <laughs> but my 3G principle is exactly the opposite. It simply means that your daughter Naomi is going to migrate from a D to an A minus at a speed that is faster than the 5G network. You see, your daughter Naomi scored a D at the beginning in her open exams. But with me, I can guarantee you that she's going to score 
a minimum of a B minus in our end of year exams. And you can take that to the bank if you want. <laughs> Amazing. You hear that, Bruce? Mr. Mambo guarantees better results for our daughter. Really? Yeah. How? See, I'm not just going to provide basic mathematics tuition. Okay? My 3G approach goes a step further. How could you be so rude and walk out of Mr. Mambo's presentation? That was not a presentation. That was extortion. No, it was not. He's trying to help. That man is nothing but a charlatan and a cheat. Don't you want your daughter to get better results? I do. But then I, would, I will not pay someone to help her cheat in the exams because that is not only illegal, but downright immoral. Well, sometimes rules have to be broken for the better good. And what do you mean by that? All I'm saying is that I will do anything for Naomi to get better results. You want her to be a this student for the rest of her life? Of course I don't. Paying someone to go and help her cheat in the exams really won't help her at all. In fact, she will still be a this student in her mind. What are you talking about? <sighs> Look, whether this Mamba man or... Mambo. Wherever. Uh, if he makes it possible for Naomi to get a B or, or even an A, mentally, Naomi will still be a D student. And what is worse? She will be walking around with a fake paper saying that she's an A student. I won't allow that. No. Why not? How many people have fake papers and walk around like they're pillars of society? Are you saying that you're one of them? This is not about me, Bruce. This is about our daughter that are getting better results. Fine. Fine. But the best thing really is to get is to identify a tutor who will find out the reason why Naomi is weak in mathematics. And then that teacher will guide her to master the subject. But paying someone to go and steal exams. Uh, it's, it's, it's not worth it. And I will not be part of that crime. No. All right, Mr. Goody Two Shoes. It doesn't matter anyway. I've already paid Mr. Mambo the down payment of 25,000 shillings. You've done what? Yes, and the rest will be paid later when Naomi's amazing results are announced. If you're planning to be whistleblower so that Mr. Mambo can be exposed as an exam cheat, do realize you'll also be exposing your own daughter. Really? If I were you, I would zip up that mouth and keep my morals to myself. Really? How is my number one patient doing? Dad, my stomach is still aching. Oh, sorry to hear that. But don't worry. I have brought you all the medicine that the doctor prescribed. Thanks, Dad. Um, what about my exams? Today is the first day. I'm supposed to be sitting for my maths exam. Oh. Just, just lie down, just lie down. You see, Naomi, your health comes first. You can always reset the exam. Just relax, okay? Uh huh. What about you? How are you feeling? I'm feeling terrible. I'm going to sue that restaurant. Where we were. Yesterday? Yes, that one. The fish they served Naomi and I was not fresh at all. Uh, could be. Don't say could be. It was. And I will sue them. 
I don't understand why you're okay. I ate beef, not fish. Exactly. I mean, my daughter is missing exams because of them. But I need you. Dorothy, take it easy. There's no need of adding stroke to food poisoning. Is there? Naomi will reset her exam after she gets better. For now, uh, just relax, okay? Relax and uh, just uh, listen to radio. <clears throat> and finally, police have released the name of the man believed to be behind the exam theft scandal that has rocked scores of schools across the country. Mr. Sebastian Mambo was captured by the police in Kisumu as he was distributing the fake exam papers to students. Hey, Dad, imagine there's some parents who paid that Mr. Mambo to help their children get better grades. Oh, okay. I know my math is weak and I'll do my best, but I will not cheat. Good girl. Cheats never prosper. Actually, I can think of 25,000 reasons why you shouldn't cheat. <laughs> Dad, it's sometimes you say the funniest things. Those are 25,000 reasons. Mom, 25,000 reasons. <laughs>